Tapping into NTR custom firmware can grant 3DS users much more usability for their 3DS. NTR is a custom firmware created by Cell9 that runs on top of other custom firmwares. A boot NTR selector CIA can be installed for easy access to NTR. It also has some incredibly useful features with it for users which were intended to enhance the homebrew and gaming experience, and we're going to look at just what NTR allows you to do. Many 3DS games were never optimized for the new 3DS, so they utilized the old 3DS's 268 MHz processor, which is fine, except now we have NCR that allows new 3DS users to force games to run the much faster 804 MHz with increased L2 cache as well. This aids performance in some games such as battles in Pokemon games as well as when using 3D in some titles. Load times are reduced on a game-to-game -game basis, some seeing several seconds of load time cut off entirely. That sure makes getting to the game a lot quicker. Cheats can add extra fun and silliness to a game you've already beaten, or it can aid you in a current quest you're in. Cheat plugins can be easily downloaded from various places like GBA Temp and can add functionality like flying in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D to giving yourself all the items at the beginning of a game. How about corrupting a game's RAM and letting it glitch itself for entertainment? One of the biggest and most exciting features of NTR is video streaming capability without needing a capture card or recording with a camera. Using a very to use client like KitKat on Windows, users can easily connect their new 3DS systems and see the video output on their monitor, which can then be picked up by OBS and recorded or broadcasted. Audio isn't sent over with the video, so you will have to provide your own aux cable and set it up for stereo mix, and the video output is slightly delayed, so playing on a monitor is possible, but it is a little difficult. This has majorly benefited YouTubers and streamers such as myself, as we can now pick up high quality footage without breaking the bank. This streaming performance varies depending on how good your wireless network is, how much interference there is, as well as some games need more processing power and thus output lower frames during streaming. But nonetheless, it's a very acceptable solution for streaming. I don't know about you, but the lowest brightness setting on the 3DS still tends to burn my eyes at night when playing, even with power saver mode enabled. There is a solution thanks to NTR, as it allows users to dim their backlight with precision to the point it is so dim that it turns off. That saves battery and your eyes in dark environments. Another thing that can really help your eyes at night is reducing the blue light that comes out of your display. This is now possible directly through NTR's debug menu and allows five different levels of blue light reduction, with five being pretty extreme. The post-processing on the screen is very cool and opens up the next feature of NTR. This new feature allows creators to make plugins that can render 2D or 3D elements to the screen on top of the game. This can add so many possibilities to games as developers can read the RAM and create functions and overlays that are affected by in-game elements. This has been recently demonstrated in its infancy on Monster Hunter Generations with a health bar that is drawn for big monsters on the bottom screen, and it reduces itself accordingly. There's also been shown to have a 3D rendered clock included with NTR Preview 4, which is really cool, as well as a frame rate counter overlay. Have you ever wanted to use a GameCube controller or Xbox One controller on your 3DS, but just thought it was way too wild? Well, thanks to NTR's input redirection over network, Users can connect a controller of their choice to a computer and through software can reroute inputs of said controllers to 3DS in real time with very low latency. I find it so much more comfortable using Xbox 360 or Xbox One gamepad over the cramped mobile controls for extended play sessions. It works very fluently with the only drawback being no C-Stick support, but this is just really cool and it's something cool to just show your friends.
Are you bored of New Super Mario Bros. 2 because you've collected every freaking coin twice? Well, thanks to NTR and dedicated fans, users can now load up game modifications which extend the playability of these games. How about experiencing new Halloween levels in Mario Bros. 2 with the next mod? Or how about getting 20 plus brand new tracks in Mario Kart 7 to ride around in with new music in CTGB 7? There are a ton of game mods available at this time for 3DS games, but there are some available, and the ones that are available are pretty cool to check out. There are ways to load game mods like through Luma Custom Firmware or Hans ROM FS support, but it is nice to have it available through NTR as well. The region lock on the 3DS, which stops gamers from playing titles from outside of their own region, is bypassed in NTR and allows games to launch out of region titles straight from the home screen. This can be coupled with the cheat plugin to add translations to games entirely beating the region lock. Experience a cool or cute moment within a game? Screenshot it! NTR allows the ability to screenshot things super easily. Just press X and Y and then screenshot that very moment. It's saved to an image file and placed onto the root of your SD card, ready to be shared. The screenshot command can also be binded to some buttons for even quicker screenshotting access. This is a very ambitious feature to put into a console, but the ability to save and go back to a certain point in an actual 3DS game is possible, just like save states and emulation. This can be useful during some frustrating or intense moments during a game where it's easier to move incrementally towards a goal rather than losing and repeatedly starting from a checkpoint or the beginning of a level. NTR allows us to be able to save up to three different save states. Now, when loading and saving a save state, it can take several seconds to do this operation. And it also requires you to go back to the home menu before you save and before you load. Other than that, super duper cool feature. I'll link NTR in the description for anyone who wants to use this incredible software. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just felt like NTR is really great and there's a lot of great things about it, but it's really fragmented with the information. So it's kind of neat to have all the features be shown in one video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Anyways guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out dudes.